What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I have got my 20 and 0 custom tactics. A lot of people asked me to do a video on my custom tactics, my 20 and 0 custom tactics. So here we are. I'm going to be showing you guys my ultra D, my defensive, my attacking and my ultra attacking formation and tactics. But this is a team we went 20 and 0 with. Yeah, there's one player that really shines out and you can already tell who I'm going to say. It's your boy Mbappe. Listen, the guy I picked him up for... I think it was 1.2 mil to be fair. 1.2 mil for Mbappe. So I picked him up for an okay price, let's say. But yeah, he's just so much better. Literally so much better than any attacker in this team. And he does really put in the work for me. Either way, let's get into the tactics. Starting off with the default tactics. As you see, man, I don't touch these. I just simply don't touch these because I switched to my defensive tactic as soon as I get into the game. So yeah, this is just on default and the same as the instructions. So the actual tactic i use pretty much the entire game is the 4-2-3-1 formation and the tactics are these a balanced defensive style 50 width 50 depth balanced build up play balanced chance creation uh, 50 width six players in a box one corners and a one free kicks when it comes down to our instructions in this formation default on goalkeeper no need to put anything else stay back while attacking on both center backs stay back while attacking on the left back and right back in the 4 3 2 1 formation i'm going to show you guys i do have overlap on but in this formation, there's no point. The Lamb and Ram are up there. They make those runs in behind anyway. There's not really an opportunity, let's say, to your left back and right back to actually overlap. So just have them on a stay back while attacking. The CDMs are going to be on a cut passing lane, stay back while attacking and cover center. That is both of them. Some people do like to go balance just so they, you know, they have an extra person going forward. But for me, I don't really need it because I have four attackers already going forward. That should be more than enough to actually break down my opponent. So all my CDMs really need to do is just give me a passing option. And that's exactly what they do. So yeah, just have stay back while attacking, cut passing lanes and cover center on both of them. The cam is going to be on a default. Some people like to put stay forward so they can go for that like quick counter attack. And some people like to put come back on defense. But I find it better just to have it on balance because sometimes my cam comes back helps me out but then there's other times he actually stays up there and i get those quick counter attacks now the lamb is going to be on a comeback on defense get in the box for a cross the reason this this lamb and ram is going to be on comeback on defense is because these two players are pretty much going to double team the the players down the line my opponent down the line let's say so my boy hikimi and dembele on that right side and on the left side junior and ferla mendy double team double teaming there's a lot of occasions where i double team the side and i get the ball and i can just go for a quick counter attack so yeah make sure that i come back on defense and get in a box on the lamb and ram and for a striker is just going to be a stay forward some people like getting behind where is it there you go some people like getting behind some people even like target man i just like mixed attack i feel like getting behind makes your player run offside for the sake of running offside so yeah just have it on mixed and make sure it is on stay forward now how let's say how often in game do i use this formation i use literally every single game but i use it to the first the first minute to like the 70th minute if i'm losing 2-1 let's say i switch my attacking formation which is the 4 3 2 1. But if I'm holding a good enough lead, let's say maybe 3 1, I stick with that 4 2 3 1 formation. So yeah, the 4 3 2 1. It's a formation and a half. I have made a video on it. So if you guys want a bit more in depth analysis, let's say when it comes down to this formation, aka me telling you guys what kind of players you should be having in every single position, the link to the video will be in the description. But yeah, we are going to have a defensive style of balance. The width is going to be 50. The depth is going to be 45. The build up play is going to be balanced. The pass, the, sorry, the passing, the chance creation is going to be direct passing. The width is 50. The players in the box is seven. The corners is one. And the free kicks is one as well. The instructions. So the goalkeeper, D default again stay back while attacking on both center backs left back this time is going to be on an overlap and stay back while attacking reason it's on overlap now is because there's not many options down the line so my hikimi and my furlan mendy run down that line and pretty pretty much give me like a wide option let's say same as i said same thing for the right back as well center mid stay back while attacking cover center the reason the middle center mid is on stay back while attacking and not the left center mid and right center mid is because he's pretty much going to be acting like your cdm in this formation he's going to be a person stay back he's going to be a person staying back he's not going to be a person going forward at all and he will be stopping those quick counter attacks so yes yeah, for the left center mid and right center mid just a simple cover center no need to have anything else for the striker we are going to have a stay forward for the left forward we are going to have a stay central stay forward and it is that exact same for the right forward as well the reason we have this on stay central by the way 
and not like just balance or drift out wide is because we want to make this front free as close as possible to each other so we can go for like quick tick attacker plays while Griezmann and Lorente are actually helping me out and if you're wondering why I'm play, uh, playing Griezmann right center mid those finesse shots literally those finesse shots you already know how they are in this game man and Griezmann he kind of gets left in that position pretty much wide open by my opponent let's say so I can just touch the ball bring onto his left and just green it and it pretty much goes in every single time so the ultra D formation is gonna be a 5-3-2 this 5-3-2 formation this year it is very very good i can't really find a formation that is like extremely extremely defensive the 5-3-2 i found is the best one so far but maybe i need to experiment a little bit more with other formations and because there might be a hidden gem out there where you're literally parking a bus and no one no one can get past you with a 5-3-2 in some occasions the three center mids do actually like go a little bit too full, too far forward while your defense does drop deep. So yeah, the 5-3-2 formation, I don't use an extreme amount, but I do use in some occasions. Very rare, but the majority of the time it's the 4-2-3-1. But yeah, the 5-3-2 is going to be on a drop back defensive style. The width is going to be 35. The depth is going to be 45. Build up play is going to be balanced. Chance creation is going to be balanced. The width is going to be 50. The players in the box is two. The corners is one and the free kicks is one. No need to have anyone going inside the box. You're trying to hold a lead, let's say. So the instructions, we are going to have a stay back while attacking on the left back and right back. Make sure you have this on. Otherwise, they're just going to be bombing up going forward and there's no point when you're trying to hold a lead for all three center mids you are going to have a stay back while attacking cover center and sorry for the center back stay back while attacking and the goalkeeper as well just on default so for the striker we are going to have a comeback on defense and for the left striker we are going to have a stay forward the reason i got to stay forward on left striker and not the right striker is because one i've got Kylian mbappe which is quite a tall player he's got good jumping ability and he can win those headers over some center backs and that's something I that's something I definitely do recommend for you guys as well. If you've got a slightly tall player, I don't know, let's say a Lukaku. Lukaku's pretty tall. I mean, you can even go Haaland if you really want to. Haaland being six foot four, he's going to be amazing for this job. Where they're just going to stay forward. They're pretty much going to cause a lot of trouble because they are very tall. You pretty much switch the ball all the way to them and they're just going to be guaranteed winning the headers so yeah that's my person that is my Mbappe that's what he pretty much does in this formation when we're talking about the 4-2-4 this formation is amazing amazing last year and it is amazing this year it's one of these it's one of those formations where for some odd reason every time I switch to it I always end up scoring a goal it is absolutely broken so yeah the 4-2-4 formation is the ultra attacking the defensive style is going to be on a balance the width is going to be on 50 the depth is going to be on 60 the build up play balance chance creation balance width 50 players in a box is going to be on a seven the corners is going to be on a one and the free kicks is also going to be on a one the instructions goalkeeper no need once again to put sweeper keeper sweeper keeper this year is just it's terrible it really is i think back in fever 20 it was good but this year they come out in so many trash occasions let's say and they just end up getting chipped so have it on default with the center backs we are going to have stay back while attacking on the left back we are going to have it on default and on the right back we are also going to have it on default so no stay back while attacking on the left back and right back this time because you want these players to actually go forward and press a decent amount so yeah just have them on default for the two center mid cover center on both of them no point of putting stay back or taking again you're trying to get back into the game and you're trying to score yourself a goal so have them on balance so they can push up as well for the two strikers we are going to have a stay forward on both of them no point putting getting in behind they're probably going to be parking the rush trying to hold a lead so your players will pretty much be just running offside so yeah just have it on mixed attack and for the left wing and right wing we are going to put stay forward some occasions in this formation people do put get in a box for a cross it's all right but the thing is usually when i switch to this formation my opponent is probably gone like five at the back so they're gonna be inside the box anyway they're not really gonna get open let's say inside the box so it's not that big of a thing if you want to put it go ahead and do it but for me personally i wouldn't i'll just put stay forward on both of them but that is it that is gonna be my 20 and 0 custom tactics as i said the 4 2 3 1 i used to like the first to like the 65th minute and depending on what formation my opponent is playing i'd rather switch to a 4 3 2 1 or the 4 2 4 just to quickly get back into the game uh when it comes down to the ultra d formation it tends to be used in like 
the last 10 minutes, let's say. I don't really want to go five at the back in a lot of occasions because it pretty much allows pressure to come onto me. So I don't want that really to happen. So last 10 minutes, last five minutes is perfectly fine. Go switch to a 5-3-2 and you shouldn't really concede. If you did, it's probably to some next level long shot, which is most likely getting patched when EA released the next patch. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hopefully, these custom tactics bring you on to the next level. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.